Hey everybody, this is D Hunter bringing you another action figure review. Today, we're going to be looking at the McFarlane DC Multiverse, the Batman Who Laughs, the Sky Tyrant version. So they've made a Man Who Laughs in the first series of McFarlane figures, and now they're releasing another version. It looks like this one here has Hawkman's armor and wings. Presumably he killed Hawkman, and he looks super happy about that. This guy's part of the Merciless Wave, collect and connect to get the Merciless figure. So let's go ahead and check out the packaging here. As you can see at the top, 22 moving parts. McFarlane Toys, you can see the Spawn logo there. Ages 12 plus, at the top you can see Dark Knight's Metal. And here he is. How you can see the wings in the background, some pieces of Merciless. Looks like a giant sword for Merciless. I'm sure he has a collector's card and display stand. DC Multiverse, the Batman Who Laughs. Collect to build the Merciless. One side, the Batman Who Laughs with Sky Tyrant Wings. Other side, the Batman Who Laughs. The bottom, there is a barcode, in case that helps anybody, as well as a bunch of credits. And then on the back, here he is. Looks like he just snatched the wings from Hawkman. Looks like there's some instructions how to build Merciless. And then here's a few other McFarland DC Multiverse figures you should get. And I did end up getting two of these figures, one of which to open and enjoy, the other one to keep unopened in my complete 6 and 7 inch unopened Batman and related action figure collection. And I got this guy with a pretty big haul from Amazon. We've got three different figures, two of each, four figures if you count Merciless. Amazon delivered my Crow Robins a few days ago and finally completed the wave today. And before we open these guys up, here's a look at where the unopened figures went with the other unopened Batman related action figures in front of my Batman related comics. As you can see, all of their multiverse bat related characters, all Batman and related. Alright, now that we got this figure out of the package, here he is with all of his accessories laid out. He does come with a display stand, a collector's card, Hawkman's wings that he took for his own. He also has some of the Collect and Connect Merciless pieces. We've got Merciless's head, his two shoulder pads, and his sword. But before we look at the accessories, let's check out the actual figure. So this is Bruce Wayne, or what was formerly Batman of Earth, negative 22. He turned into Batman who laughs. And this is the second version of the Batman who laughs they've made. So let's go ahead and take a look. First thing I want to look at is his head sculpt. This thing looks sick. Look at it. Look at the mouth wide open. He's laughing maniacally. Teeth exposed. The detail is fantastic. It looks great and terrifying. Going further down, looks like he has Hawkman's armor on his chest. I'm assuming he killed him and took that for his own. Now, there's going to be a lot of parts that are going to be shared between this the man who laughs and the other one and I'm gonna check that out later in this video I also can't wait to put this head on the old body to see how that looks so going further down he's got this soft good sort of trench coat it's got a lot of damage holes in it you can move out of the way it's not gonna obstruct any articulation looks like double jointed elbows double jointed knees you can see where the Hawkman wings will attach and it's got some sculpted straps on there overall this guy is looking terrifying and freaky. So now, let's check out his accessories, and let's start off with the boring stuff. Here's his display stand, typical McFarlane stand. It's a black perfect circle. It's got the DC logo at the bottom. It's got one peg for the peg holes on his feet. It's really thin, really basic. Here's his collector's card. As you can see, we've got the Batman who laughs on top of what appears to be a dead Hawkman. He has taken his wings and his armor and made them his own. The Batman who laughs. On the back here, there is a little bio and description. This is actually from something that happened in Hawkman number 19. I don't actually have that book. So thank you, McFarlane. Not only are you costing me money on buying figures, but I'm going to have to track down this comic as well. And he comes with these merciless collect and connect pieces. He has these smallest pieces like the head. So he came with some extra stuff, the shoulder pads and the sword. 
and Merciless is the biggest McFarlane DC Multiverse figure yet. It's also their first Collecting Connect figure. The head looks fantastic. You can see the bat ears come out the side, the red eyes, the mouth, the detailed sculpting is very nice on this guy. Now let's check out the Batman Who Laughs wings that he took from Hawkman. These things look great. Look at all the different sculpting detail, the texturing, the paint weathering, the paint wash. It looks very nice. Each individual feather has a ton of sculpting. Very nice job, McFarlane. In addition to that, it's got the peg where it can connect to his back, and that has articulation. It's hinged. It can also rotate in him. In addition to that, it has another point of articulation so the wings can sort of stretch out. It just looks very nice. I cannot imagine they won't make a Hawkman using these wings in the future. Here he is without the wings. And here he is with the wings attached. It makes the figure very top heavy. Kind of got to lean him forward to balance out the weight. I'm a little surprised he didn't come with a flight stand to accommodate the wings. He does have a regular stand, but I can't imagine he didn't do at least a little bit of flying in the book with these Hawkman wings. Like I said before, they attach to the back and it looks pretty nice. And here he is with the wings completely outstretched. There's something oddly angelic about these wings, especially being on what appears to be a devilish creature. Then, I wanted to go over the articulation on the wings. Starting with the back here. If you want to outstretch them, they can rotate at the top there, in and out. I think it's done very nicely and looks great. They can also rotate at the base here. And then they're also going to be hinged at the base here, so you can kind of take the wings and kind of flap back and forth. Very nicely done. And while we're on the subject of his wings, here they are next to all the different Hawkman and Hawkgirl wings that I have. They're all very nice and all executed very differently. This pair of wings here is from the DC Direct Superman Batman line. It's got a ball joint here, which is going to allow it to rotate and hinge as well. Then we've got this one. This is from Hawkman from the Arrowverse, TV Universe, Mattel Multiverse. This thing connects its one solid piece. It can sort of hinge and flap, and then it can also rotate upward and stretch out. Then this other one here. This is from the Mattel Multiverse, Arrowverse, Hawk Girl figure. Nice texture. It has different segments done pretty nicely and it can rotate up and down on the figure as well. Now that we've taken a pretty good look at both the figure and his accessories, now let's check out the height of this guy. From bottom to the top of his head, sitting at about 7.0 inches tall, which is going to translate to a hair under 18 centimeters. And if you go to the top of the crown or the ears, it's about 7.25 inches tall. And now, Let's look at his articulation. Starting with his head here, of course, it can rotate from side to side. You can look up and down about that far. He can tilt his head from side to side as well, allowing him to get into some pretty creepy poses. Now his wings, they can rotate up and down. They're also hinged in the back, kind of allowing them to flap. And they're also going to be able to rotate even more to extend out. Shoulders on a ball joint didn't go out about this far, more than 90 degrees. They're going to be obstructed from his shoulder pad here, up, down, around, all that good stuff. He's got that butterfly joint between the shoulder and chest area, allowing his shoulders to go up and down some, forward and back as well. He's got a bicep cut below that, double jointed elbows below that, then go all the way in. His wrist can rotate around and it's hinged as well. His torso here, it's got the soft goods overlay on top with some articulation underneath. So first of all, he does have a fully functioning waist swivel under there. He can crunch forward about that much, but it just sort of bounces right back. It doesn't really hold the pose very good. He can crunch back quite a bit, and it does hold that. Looking pretty cool. Can sort of go from side to side, but it just won't hold those poses. 
His legs, they go out about this far, not too much, not a ball joint, but a similar type concept. Now one of his legs right now is sort of tucked under the crotch, and you can't really swivel it very much. The other one is a little bit untucked, and I can get it back under there, but I can swivel quite a bit like this. His legs can go forward about that far. They can go back, really not at all. He's got no thigh cut here. He's got double jointed knees. They can go all the way in. And then his foot here, he's got a ball in his ankle. It can go up and down. It can rotate around. He's got toe articulation there. And then it can tilt and rock a little bit. Here's the Batman who laughs on a rooftop after he just defeated Hawkman and is stealing his wings. Now let's check him out next to the original Batman Who Laughs release and see what reuse there is. So looking at these two figures, of course their heads are different. This guy's head is just ridiculously creepy. It looks great. Going down, I'd say the arms are identical, painted slightly differently. The hands are different. Obviously their soft goods overlay is different on top, but I would say it's the same body underneath. This guy's the same problem, hard to push him forward, but you can definitely push him back, kind of see a little gap in there. And with him, you can kind of see the same thing going on there. I would say their crotch and legs are identical, same thing. So essentially they're the exact same figure, different head, different hands, and different soft good outfit on top. And both came out very nicely. Here they are with their original heads on. We've got the original Batman Who Laughs with his grinning head. And then we've got the Sky Tyrant version with his mouth wide open, laughing maniacally. And here they are with their heads swapped. We've got the big screaming laughing head on the original, the Batman Who Laughs, and the grinning head on the Sky Tyrant version. They both look excellent, but are for completely different scenarios. Next, let's check them out compared with some other action figures, starting off with some other McFarlane DC Multiverse figures. Here he is, next to the original, The Batman Who Laughs. And if the original, The Batman Who Laughs, is a cross between Batman and the Joker, then this Sky Tyrant version of The Batman Who Laughs is a mixture of Batman and Joker, with a little Hawkman added in as well. Here he is, with the entire Merciless wave. This is McFarlane's first build-a-figure wave. You would buy these four different figures and collect and connect to make Merciless. Drop $100 and you get these five figures, as long as you're not too worried about getting all three variations of the Robin Crow. All in all, this is a fantastic wave. McFarlane is just continuing to improve wave after wave after wave. Here he is, next to all the different Dark Knight's metal villains they've made so far. I can't wait to add Red Death, Drowned, and Death Metal Batman with his motorcycle to the mix. Here he is, next to all the different McFarlane DC Multiverse Bruce Wayne as Batman figures they've made. Sure, a bunch of them are from the Dark Multiverse, but they're still Bruce Wayne. Here he is, next to the entire McFarlane DC Multiverse collection. I've got a total of 37 figures and one vehicle and there's still more to get before the year ends. And just a slightly more aerial view of the entire collection. Now let's check him out next to some Hawkman figures. Here he is with a DC Direct, Superman, Batman, Hawkman. This guy's gotten quite beat up over the years. And here he is next to a couple of Mattel, Multiverse, Hawkman, and Hawkgirl figures from the Arrow TV universe. And the Batman Who Laughs has always totally reminded me of Hellraiser. I think that's part of the point. He's got that leather, hellish, creepy, torturous look to him. Next, let's check him out, compared with some other action figure lines from different various companies, to see how he fits in both scale and style-wise, in case you want to know which lines you can mix him with. Here he is with some of his McFarlane Toys brothers. In front of you are five different action figure lines, all from McFarlane Toys, all 7-inch scale. And here he is, next to some DST, or Diamond Select Toys. And since this guy is technically Bruce Wayne, or Batman, 
I'm going to include as many different Batman figures from different companies as I can as we go through this. Here he is, next to some DC Direct or DC Collectibles Batman figures. Now, next to some NECA Batman figures. Then, with some Mattel wrestling figures. And here he is, next to some Mezco 112th Cloth Soft Goods Batman figures. Then, next to some Mattel DC Universe Classics and Multiverse Batman figures. And here, with some Mafex Batman figures. Then, next to some Hasbro Marvel Legends. And here he is, next to some SH Figure Arts Batman figures. And finally, here he is, next to some Jazzwares Fortnite figures. So overall, this figure is great. This guy is a home run. This entire wave is fantastic. I must say, I prefer the regular, the Batman Who Laughs, over this guy, as I can use him in many more action figure scenarios. But this guy's detail is fantastic. Those wings are so good. And that head, look at that mouth, just very, very nice. His articulation's pretty good. A couple things that could have been better and were not improved upon the initial release. Sculpt, excellent. Accessories, he just has the wings, but they are top notch. If I were to rate this figure, I'm probably going to give him a 7.5 out of 10. He's a very nice figure and stands right up there with the rest of the wave. McFarlane is just killing it. So this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked the video, press like below. If you have anything you want to say about the video, add it to the comment section. If you want to see additional action figure reviews from me, press subscribe. I do appreciate when you do that. Once again, this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll talk to you guys real soon.